Ohio gozaimasu everyone, it's your boy Ohio here and today I'm bringing a discussion video here. This will be the last Monogatari related video I do for the next couple weeks. I'm working on a script and hopefully a collab with my friend Shinsink. Uh, we're going to do a discussion of Kuzu no Honkai. And he's going to talk about the anime and how his opinions on it. And I'm going to talk about the live action and how it differs, differs from the anime. So, that's your... something to look forward to in the future. Anyways, this is a discussion video on what the next uh, Monogatari OVA should be. Now, the last Monogatari OVA we got was Koyomi Monogatari, which is the calendar story. And I thought it was okay, <laughs> for the most part. Um, it was about like 15 minutes each episode, and you know, it was a nice, it was nice to have something Monogatari while it's shoved into the, the seasonal schedule. But I'm going to talk about two different stories here that should be, uh, I think, done in an OVA fashion, or at least a Blu-ray uh, exclusive. Um, so, first part... First OVA I would like is uh, Oroka Monogatari, which is mainly focused on Sudochi, uh, Sudachi Okiora. There's a story, uh, Sudachi Fiasco, and if you guys want to read that, um, I highly recommend you go on to Mirrored Translations. You can read all of Sudachi Fiasco on there. And uh, yeah, again, these Tumblr blogs. Oh, that bird. Oh. I greatly apologize for that. My brother has a pet bird, and it will not shut up. So, every time I try to record, that motherfucker always chirps and chirps and chirps. So I just decide, hey, if it's going to chirp, I'll just keep it in the video. Anyways, Oroko Monogatari features Sudachi Fiasco, and if you want to read that, go on Mirror Trans... Go on Mirror Translations, and I'll put a link in the description. These Tumblr blogs, seriously, they're great. They deliver great translations if you want to read the series and if you want some backstory. The second story I would like in an OVA fashion would be Waza Monogatari. Now this one, this one should be done in a specific way, in my opinion. Now, it's for one particular arc, which is Acerola Bon Appetit. It is the entire backstory on Kiss Shot Acerola Reinhardt Underblade, on how she got her vampire powers... Uh, when she was a princess uh, during her reign, her parents' reign, how she, uh, how everyone thought she was a beautiful, beautiful princess, and she didn't want anyone to see her like that. She wanted uh, people to see what she was on the inside. So it is an amazing story. It also features Subasa sleeping and Karen Ogre, which are uh, they're all right arcs, but I prefer Acerola Bon Appetit. And you can also read this on Mirror Translations. I'll put a link at that in the description as well. Now, the specific way I want Waza Monogatari to be done is, uh, I don't know the exact art style, I don't remember the exact artist, I should, since I, I'm a self-proclaimed biggest Nisio Eisen fan ever, but there's a sp if you know the artist, uh, correct me in the comments below, but there's a certain artist, uh, he did the, uh, the ED, uh, Kimi no Shirai Monogatari, the ending to, uh, for the Baki Monogatari, the art style, like that. There's also figures with that art as well, and it's, it's amazing. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll put, I don't know, I'll put like pictures throughout here. Yeah, you can see that. So you, you'll know what I'm talking about, and that would be an amazing way to portray these, uh, this art. It would, it was awesome. Uh, it, it, the art style is also seen in uh, Mind Shots, the, uh, that's one of the openings for Shinobu Mail. That's the opening for Shinobu Mail in Awari Monogatari Season 1. So, that would be really great, actually, if you, we would have a, just an entire arc animated like that. Uh, and maybe even Sadashi Fiasco would be great uh, anime like that. Uh, but I, I really love Sadashi's overall character style, overall character in general, she's a gorgeous young lady with insane amount of character depth. So it's amazing. But, like I said, those would be the arcs I would like to see in an OVA. I don't know about you, but maybe like a Blu-ray exclusive or maybe a just separate Blu-ray itself for it, not on top of another Blu-ray set. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, what arcs would you like uh, in an OVA style? Uh, what would you like to see? Uh, if you would like to see that art style for 
something like a Sorolla Bon Appetit. That would be insanely cool. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, leave a comment below. Subscribe for more content. Uh, Monogatari is what I try to keep on the channel primarily. But I don't want people to get burned out. Especially some of my close friends here on YouTube. Uh, they don't particularly really care for this series that much. And they have their own reasons. Don't get me wrong. That's totally fine. Uh, but they, they like to focus on other things. Uh involved with Japan, which is totally cool. I like that. I appreciate that. They have some diversity within amongst the the cast here. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay cool.